I came here to VMI uh, primarily because I wanted to be an Air Force pilot. This is a small school with in-state tuition that will allow me to uh, pursue my goals and so that's how I chose VMI. Harry and I went to high school together. Uh, we actually knew each other before, before high school. Um, I will relate the story. We both uh, had aspirations to go in the military as adults. This started back like we were early teenagers. I mean, I applied to, to uh, Citadel, uh, VMI, and Norwich. The bottom line is I chose VMI because I'm, I'm my only child. My father was deceased. Uh, at the time, I thought I was a halfway, halfway decent athlete and I wanted to be close enough so my mother could come and watch me do athletics. I wanted to be an engineer or at least be geared more to you know, technical kinds of, uh, of work. And I was in awe, you know, I'm looking at the, the uniforms, it was in April, you know, I'm looking at the uniforms, and they're crisp, and they're white, and the leaves are out on the trees, I said, man, this is really nice. And, and then we came over to Colonel Lipskin's office, uh, that was in Smith Hall at the time, and uh, he sat down, and it, I'll never forget sitting on the other side of the desk from me, he says, now, you know there's no blacks here, and I go, I didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> the administration in the first class went to extraordinary lengths and uh, very successfully to make sure that our experience as rats was just like every other rat classes had been. We are not aware of what happened behind the scenes to make that happen, but looking back in hindsight, I know that they really did a lot to, to prepare the battlefield for for integration, but we did have some some philosophical discussions, <laughs> so to speak. But for the most part, uh, we were able to make our own way as cadets. Within the Corps, we were treated just like any other cadets. That does not mean that there were traditions here at VMI that that bothered me. Um, uh, I I I mean I I used to cringe every time Dixie was played, but I never felt that I was single out because of race. I, I, I don't want to give you the, 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 the idea that everything was all rosy all the time, but it wasn't rosy all the time for anybody. The traditions, you know, you know, I embrace because it's part of the school, but do I believe in all of them? No, I didn't. And, um, you know, I fought my own little personal battles to, to deal with that. That's what this place teaches you to do. You know, being here, you get connected to this place. I mean, I personally got connected to the ideal for what it stands for. I mean, even New Market, if you want to take that as an example. I mean, the idea of, you know, a group of people going out and fighting for something that they believe in. Um, even though I didn't believe in the cause, okay. But, you know, that is, that is powerful, okay. And that, and that resonates within me from being a part of an institution where that uh, appreciated and, and honored. You know, the New Market Ceremony is not necessarily celebrating, you know, the glorious Confederacy. What it's about is, you know, the, the sacrifices of the Corps uh, marching up to New Market uh, for, you know, about the Corps doing that for each other. You know, a tradition at VMI is anything that's been done more than twice. <laughs> so. You know, it's like any other uh, challenge. When you go through it alone, that's one thing. But when you go through with someone that you actually uh, have history with, uh, not only do you not want to disappoint yourself, but you actually don't want to disappoint them in the sense that I'm not going to leave those guys up there and I said, well, you know, I'm going to stick it out because all these other guys are here doing it. And so I'm not leaving. It's going to be worth it to stick it out to, to reach that goal to be a, a VMI graduate. A big part of, of our success was being greeted uh, with open arms by uh, the black community of Lexington. Right. right. Uh, exactly. we, we got a, a great deal of, of uh, emotional and uh, physical support, physical support in terms of Sunday afternoon dinners. I thought, why am I doing this? So I'm a, a freshman in college. All of my buds are off in college. They're out partying. 
they're having a good time and here I am helping clean up somebody else's room before I go up back up to the fourth stoop to clean my <laughs> own room <laughs> <laughs> and you know the answer was you learn how to subsume your own desires to work with others to achieve a common goal. Never giving up, trying to find alternatives to, to challenges, um, and leading by example. I think we all have those things within us, but they need to be nurtured. You learn to, to, to live and to work and, uh, and to play with people from all kinds of backgrounds. Uh, it doesn't end when you get a piece of paper and walk out. I mean, that, it, it's a part of you. And, you know, we can talk about the things that we hate about VMI and the things we want to see differently, but, and that's because we love it. Okay, it's, it's a part of us, um, and, and, it, and it has changed, it's changed me. I went through something or went through a opportunity like VMI gives you, when you get that piece of paper, a degree of self-confidence. I, I, I had a challenge and I did this. Now, where's the next challenge? You, know, you have a reservoir of experiences that you can say, if, if I could do that, I can do this. I don't think you can get that at any ordinary school.